Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today we are talking December monthly manicures. This is the last of my monthly manicure series. If you've been watching some of my videos, you will know that I have moved over to weekly manicures um, just because I'm changing my polish so often. These videos, when they were monthly, were getting to be a little extreme. So I've broken them down into weekly manicures and I feel like that is a little bit of a better way of getting to talk about the polishes a little bit more in depth and not having to just go through polish after polish. Um, so this is gonna be the last of the series. We're doing December. Um, I've got quite a few here. I'm not gonna, usually I go in like the order that I wore them, but I think I'm just gonna grab this. I mean, I've got a pretty like decent pile of polish here. So I think I'm just gonna grab and go. Um, so these won't be in any particular order. Um, let's see here. It's a little bit dismal outside today. I think the sun is trying to peek out. So we'll see if we might get any sun, but I think the lighting's gonna be okay for bottle shots. Um, I do have laundry in the background running. Yeah, there's always like a pair of jeans in there that just keep like ding, 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 ding. So if you hear any noise in the background that's not a bunch of cats fighting, it's probably the laundry. So just a heads up on that. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first up is from OPI and this is Squeaker of the House. And this is just a really nice um, neutral color. It's a cooler brown. Um, to me, it has like a tad bit of purple in it. So it's just a really nice neutral, um, decent formula. I don't have very many OPIs in my collection. So the ones that I do have, I, I pretty much, I, I enjoy them immensely. I just think this is a really nice kind of cool brown for the winter and fall time. Uh, very chic with, you know, like a big chunky sweater type thing. Um, it's a little bit darker than like a milk chocolate. It has a little bit, uh, a little bit more darkness to it. It's not as like, um, like warm tone. This is definitely a cooler tone brown. So really pretty on that. I do apologize again. I've been filming a whole lot of videos with bare nails and I apologize. Now that I've moved over to this filming schedule, I am swatching and filming videos usually the same like on the weekends. So it's almost always I'm doing swatches. So my nails are always bare. So I apologize. I had put a, I had put a polish on last night in hopes that I was going to film with nail polish on. And then I decided I was going to swatch instead of film first and so that nail polish came off so i apologize i'll try to remember to put nail polish on next time so that way you guys aren't looking at my bare gross fingernails but that is why there's no nail polish on so again that is squeaker of the house by opi next up is another neutral and this is one of my favorites this is uh kelly from zoya and this is a this is one of the quintessential zoya shades if you are a zoya fan or if you um you know need a, de a good like dark neutral in your collection this is definitely one that i would recommend this is a really pretty um gray that leans heavily to like the blue kind of blurple side it's got a really nice kind of uh like blurple kind of tinge to it and it just is so gorgeous on the nail wonderful formula i'm pretty sure this is a one coater if i can remember um it's just a really again a chic whenever in the uh in the winter time i'm always looking for like those really chic kind of business like badass like badass nails like i just see like women in like power suits in like the 80s like this is just nail polish that i think that they would wear just really chic sophisticated you know uh, nail polish that they would wear to be like a badass in the in the boardroom so that's what i always think about when i when i pull out these like winter neutrals for me um but again this is a gorgeous shade if you don't have it i would highly recommend it it's a really pretty really pretty neutral so again that is kelly from zoya and then next up is a Crelly from KB Shimmer. And I keep pulling out these KB Shimmer Crellies. I don't have many. I think I picked up four uh, around the springtime. And it just keeps reminding me that I need to get more. Because every time I put these on, I'm just so in love with them. So I really have to buy more of her of her Crelly mixes because they're just gorgeous. And this one that I wore for December is called uh, Take Me For Granite. And if we can get it to focus, yes. This is a white Crelly with some uh, matte white silver and black um i think there's multi-size is there white in here there's not white i'm sorry it's oh yeah the, no is that white i'm pretty sure that's white yeah i'm pretty sure there's a matte white in here it's hard to tell because it's a white mix but i'm pretty sure i see some white matte glitters in there um but yeah i love her curly mixes i've said time and time again i mean they're just easy to put on the nail you don't have to manipulate you get tons of glitter on your on your nail um and it doesn't it usually is not textured. You can just do one coat of, of top coat and it's nice and smooth and just it's a gorgeous mix on the nails of just um, 
it's just a gorgeous look on the nails. So I really enjoy that one. So again, that is Take Me For Granite from KB Shimmer. And next up is an oldie but a goodie. I always forget, because this is a mini that I have, and I always forget that I have in my collection. And then when I put it on, I'm always like, why don't I wear this more? Um, and this is Rage from Orly. A really popular kind of cult favorite. Um, again, I have a little mini bottle. This is just a really pretty rose gold foil. Um, oh, I just, I love this so, so much. I put it on. And again, I like I said to myself, like, why don't I wear this more? And then as it dried, and then the, the next day when I wore it, I do, I, I kind of remember the reason I don't wear it as often is that if you have any flaws on your nails, this will show every single flaw. I mean, it just has a way of showing every like piece of peel. Like if your nails were peeling, it'll show all the ridges. Um, it just, it has a way of picking up every single flaw on your nail. So while I love the color, and I love, and, I, and if you have a ridge filler type thing, I'm sure that could cover it up. But for me, like when I wore this, I was, I just, I could see every little like nook and cranny in my nail. And so it kind of takes away from like the gorgeous color. Um, but I, I do love this polish. I just, I, maybe I'll, maybe I need to get a ridge filler of some kind just because I, every time I would look down at my nails, I'm like, oh, I love this color. It's so pretty. But then I would just see every single like ridge and like you know, grossness on my nails. Um, but I do love this color. If you have, I do have, um, Cirque's Halcyon, and they are two different distinct colors. This is more of like a pale pink, whereas Halcyon is more of like a salmon-y pink, um, and Halcyon is a little bit more glittery, where I feel like this is more of like a very finely milled, um, like foil polish, so they're definitely different, um, and I would definitely recommend Rage if you don't have it already. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous polish. And next up is one that I featured recently in my uh, winter, kind of late fall winter haul. Um, this is one of the multi-chromes I picked up um, in my ILMP haul, and this is called Tilted. And I think, I've, I haven't worn all of the polishes, but so far I think this one is definitely my, my front runner. It's so, so pretty. It is a, um, it shifts from this like warm purple um, to, very in in in, dis, in very um certain lights it will hit like a gold um there's also you know it, it does have hints of blue and green um but mostly on the nail you're gonna get that um you're gonna get that warm purple sorry i keep staring at it myself and then realize like hey you should put it up in the camera so people can see it um but these are always really hard to catch so there's that really gorgeous warm purple that you get and then if i can try and catch it but i probably won't um, it does hit some other colors, but I don't think I'm going to be able to snag it here. Mm. Anyway, but you'll see the swatch here. I, I did get some decent swatches of this, but this is a really, really pretty polish. I just, oh, I love, love, love the, the, the shift in this and just the, the purple, um, the main purple color that's in here is just a really bright, vibrant color on the nail. So thoroughly enjoyed that one that's tilted. And then next up, I believe this was, did I wear this for Christmas? I don't think I wore this for Christmas, but I wore this kind of up around the Christmas time um, and I did a stamp over this. Um, but this is one of the recent uh, winter polish um, releases from Zoya. This is Ming. And this is a really nice kind of just bright kind of holiday red, really pretty. Um, it is a little bit of a um, jelly base, so it does need a couple coats to be opaque, but I really, I kind of like that in my red polishes. I feel like it just makes it a little squishier. Um, I don't know, it just gives it a certain something to it. I think, um, I, I think compared to my other reds, I feel like I like this one just a bit more just because of that finish. I just think it gives it a little bit something extra. Um, so over Ming, I did a white kind of ugly Christmas sweater type, uh, type nail stamp and I really liked it. I thought it looked really cute. Um, and yeah, I think December was like my kind of getting into nail stamping. So that one didn't turn out as well. There was a couple like, you know, places it didn't look as, as you know, crisp and exact as I would have liked, but it definitely fit the bill for Christmas time. I thought it looked really cute. So, and I really enjoyed this polish. So that is Ming from Zoya. And then next up is a polish I've had in my collection forever, ever, forever and ever. It's one of those random, I, I don't think Zoya does it anymore, but for a while there, I would say like two or three years ago, when I would make polish purchases of like, you know, like six to 10, you know, something over maybe like six or eight bottles, Zoya would put like some random polishes in there. So, um, that I didn't buy, they would just put like random polishes in there. They wouldn't put like a note. They would just, they would just have, there would just be extra polishes in there. And I'd be like, cool. Um, so there's probably like 
four or five Zoyas in my collection that they just sent me and I never actually like purchased them, um, nor did I like, you know, ask them to send me them. They just kind of, you know, put them in my my purchase and um, some of them you can't buy anymore. I think some of them were, I think, I think that's why I think they were slowly like, um, you know, taking some stuff out of commission. And so I think they were just getting rid of extra bottles and were sending them off. Um, but this one is actually still available. And I, like I said, I didn't buy it. They just kind of threw it in there. So, and I had never worn it. So I figured I would bust it out. Uh, and this one is Logan. And again, I think I wore this around Christmas time also. Um, and I think I was in the mood for like a Christmassy green and I was gonna pull Merida. And then I was like, you know what? I never wear this color. I feel like I should, you know, try it out. And so this is a um, kind of hunter green, but it has this really nice gold, um, this gold shimmer that runs throughout. And it's really pretty. I am I can't believe I waited this long to, to try it out. It's really nice. Uh, I don't know if it takes the place of Merida. Does this have other glitter in it? This might have like a green glitter in it too. I think this might have a it's a green yeah there's some there's some hunter green glitter in there as well so um but yeah I don't know if this takes the place of Merida but I thought this was a really nice a really nice green for uh Christmas time um it would also be you know a, just a really nice green throughout the year I think it's a you know one of those like ones that could go all season um and it kind of looks like money just because it has that that really nice gold in there so I really enjoyed this. I'm glad I pulled that out. So that is Zoya's Logan. And then moving along, we've got, this is another one that was released recently from Zoya in the Winter uh, Party Girls collection. And this is probably one of the ones that I was the most excited about um, when I first like saw the PR pictures for this collection. And unfortunately it was like the one that I was, uh, I would say there was a couple that, I, that collection I was pretty disappointed with. I wasn't super thrilled with it. Um, but since this was the one that I was the most excited about, I was pretty disappointed with how it actually turned out as a manicure. Um, so the one I'm talking about is Tawny. And Tawny in the like PR um, photos, this looked to be more of like a kind of rose gold type shade to me. Um, and so I, when I got it, I was really excited. And while it is a pretty color, it's just, I mean, it's just not that extraordinary on the nail. To me, it's just kind of a basic, um, kind of like, you know, darker, kind of garnet red. Um, it does have gold shimmer that runs throughout. I think there might be another kind of glitter in there too. Mm, looks to be, looks like there's some red glitter in there. Like, this is shimmer, not glitter, I should say. I always get those two confused. I don't mean, I, I kind of use them interchangeably sometimes and I don't mean to. Um, but yeah, this has, I think also has like a red shimmer that runs throughout as well as the gold. Um, and I don't know, just the gold doesn't stand out as well in the nail. So to me, this just looks like just kind of a basic red. It's really nothing exciting to me. I just, am, I was very disappointed in it. It's pretty, but I don't know, it was just kind of boring to me on the nail. And this reminds me, um, if you saw my review of that collection, this is really similar to um, Zoya's Autumn and Zoya's Channing. And while, while I don't like Channing as much, I really enjoy um, Autumn. And so I feel like I'm gonna pull Autumn way more than I'm gonna pull this. And this, since it's so like a medium, like garnet red, I have a red that I would probably put, like I'm just not gonna pull this out. It's just not, it's so like just basic to me that it's just not something I'm gonna pull out all the time. And I, eh, so I wasn't really excited about that. So that is Tawny. I don't know why, you know, my nose never itches any other time of the day, except when I get ready to film videos and then it just goes insane. Ugh. Sorry, I, every time I watch my videos back, I just see myself like itching my nose 300 times. And I'm like, why does it only start itching right when I get to, you know, start filming? But anyway, okay, so next up, I believe this is the polish that I wore for Christmas. So for Christmas, I decided to do a snowflake, ma uh, a snowflake stamp manicure. So uh, I was gonna initially pull Zoya's Ibiza, which is kind of my favorite inky, kind of like night sky kind of blue, but I didn't because I've, I have this polish, and again, this is kind of like Logan. It's a polish that I just, you know, my nose is gonna itch again, sorry. Um, but this is a polish where I just, I, I bought it because a couple people on YouTube, you know, said it was one of their favorite polishes, and so I finally bought it, and uh, I hadn't worn it yet, and I actually have a backup of this accidentally. I bought it and then rebought it because I didn't realize I had bought it already. So now I have two bottles of this and I hadn't worn it yet. So I was like, you gotta wear this freaking polish. I was like, all right, I'm gonna wear it. So what we're talking about is Nev. And Nev is this really interesting blurple um, 
blurple color. It's a, it's almost like a metallic, a very light metallic. Um, so let me show it to you so you can see it. And I don't know if you're going to catch, but it's got this really nice and it's kind of similar to Ibiza, but it's more of like a blurple color. It's not as, um, it's not as blue. This definitely has like a blurple. It kind of goes right in between. Like to me, it's a little bit more purple than it is blue. Um, but it's got this really nice kind of metallic to it. It's pretty. Um, don't think I love it as much as Ibiza. So I don't know if uh, I have yet to decide if it's something I want to keep in my collection. It's just, um, I don't know. It's too close to Ibiza and I just didn't love it as much, but it's really pretty. It's a nice color. Um, so yeah, I would did uh, Zoya's Nev over, uh, or excuse me, I did a white um, stamp of like a snowflake manicure on top of it. Really pretty. I thought it turned out really well. I thought my stamp really turned out well. Um, so I, I thoroughly enjoyed this Christmas, this Christmas polish manicure. So that is Nev. And then next up I think is probably, it's probably in my top my top three uh, manicures for this for December. Um, this is Zoya's Mona. And Zoya's Mona is this really vampy, this really vampy gorgeous polish. It kind of leans, it's like a raisin, um, but to me it's got a little bit more um, like purple in it. Um, and if you saw my fall review of this collection, um, cause this came out in the fall time for Zoya, um, I did compare this to Zoya's Marnie and it just has a little bit more purple in it. It's not as dark. Um, so I really enjoy this. I've been wonderful formula. I think this is a one coater also. Um, I just think it's so, so beautiful. Just a really vampy, sexy color on the nail. So really pretty. So that is Zoya's Mona. All right, so next up is another um, another Zoya from the Party Girls collection. And this was kind of my, uh, this was like a hidden gem in the collection. When I initially saw the PR pictures, um, I wasn't super thrilled about this color just because I thought it was another purple. And I just was like, you know, I have every single purple known to man. I don't need another purple. Um, so this was one that I was just kind of like, meh. Um, but then I put it on the nail and I just uh, fell in love with it. And this is called Landon. And I actually don't have anything in my collection similar to Landon because this is a medium tone purple, but it's very warm. So to me, this is like an eggplant purple. Um, and so everything else I have that's warm toned is much more um, red and not as purple as Landon. So I actually don't have anything in my collection that's similar to Landon. So I was pleasantly surprised. Again, great formula on this. I'm pretty sure it was a one coater. Um, and it was just a really gorgeous color. I was pleasantly surprised that I didn't have anything in my collection like this. So that is Landon. And then moving along was this random color. I think I posted this on Instagram and I was just like, I don't know where this polish pick came from, um, but I actually really enjoyed the manicure. Um, so this is kind of a random one in my collection just cause I don't wear a whole lot of silver and gold. Um, and this one is Troy. And Troy is a black, is a black and base with a whole bunch of silver, um, silver shimmer in there. So it's almost a foil, but I wouldn't quite call it. doesn't have as much opacity as a foil does, um, but it's just like right on the line. And this is very rocker chic. I just, oh man, I, I really enjoyed this. I just, it was very out of my comfort zone, but I really thought, and I don't think I've worn this before, or if I have, it's been a little while because I couldn't really remember it very well, but Oh, I really enjoyed this. I thought this was a really interesting shade. Uh, but like I said, I don't wear a whole lot of, of silver. So I think the black base on this really helped um, kind of tone down the silver a little bit. And it just, again, it just looked like very rock and roll on the nail. And I thought it looked really pretty. So that was a pleasant surprise. That is Zoya's Troy. And here's another one from the ILMP nail haul that I did not too long ago. It's another multi-chrome. This is called Reminisce. And Reminisce is this beautiful um, kind of warm toned green um, and it's got, and this one is the shift in this is not as apparent on the nail as um, some of the other ones that I've worn. So this shifts um, from kind of like an aqua blue to, it also has those purpley gold tinges on like the outer edges that you might be able to catch in certain lining. But for the most part, it's this, um, the main color you're gonna see is this kind of like warm, kind of yellowy green. Um, and then in certain lights, you might hit that um, that blue that's in there, which you're probably not gonna be able to see from here. And I don't even think I got a good swatch of this. Um, 
so it's it's not the the the, the transition's not that great on the nail. Um, I'm always trying to add. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't wear a whole lot of greens, especially this kind of color green. So um, this was definitely out of my comfort zone. But I I'm trying to add greens to my collection. So this was really pretty. I will try this again just because I. Oh, it's really, I wish I could, oh, I wish I could get these chromes for you. There's so hard. I can see them right here in front of me, and then I put it in front of the camera, and it's like, no, sorry. Um, oh, it's just this really pretty, really pretty transition from, like, this blue to this green. But, again, can't get it on camera, so, meh. So, that's reminisce. And then another neutral for this month for me, this is a gorgeous polish. I love, love, love this one. This is Brownstone from China Glaze. Again, kind of one of those like badass um, kind of neutral nails for the fall and winter time. Great formula um, from China Glaze. This is a really pretty shade. It's a, um, it's a red, but it's got a lot of, I want to say like brown in it, obviously brownstone, um, but it's definitely not as, so if you have maybe like Zoya's Pepper, um, or you have maybe like Plain Koi um, from Essie, it's kind of along those lines, but um, it's definitely not as dark as Zoya's Pepper, it doesn't have as much um, red in it, and it's not as orangey brown, it's not as, I think, playing Koi's a little bit more brown, but it's along those same kind of lines. Um, but this is kind of a nice in-between. It's got a little bit of an orange quality to it, but it's like this reddish brown um, kind of brick color. It's super pretty. So if you don't have this in your collection, I think this is a really, um, a really nice one to add. So that is Brownstone from China Glaze. Whew, we are going, we are going. All right, next up, another neutral. This one is a satin from Zoya. This is Rowan. And this is just a cool kind of almond brown color. Um, hard to see from these bottles. I love these bottles. I think they're really pretty, but it's always hard to kind of judge the color. But you'll see a swatch here. Um, just a really pretty kind of almond brown. I just, I really love the formula on this. It was just a nice little, it was a nice neutral nail. So nothing nothing, or nothing crazy about this one. It's just um, one of my favorite kind of nude polishes. So that is Rowan. Um, it's an almond cream, but it's like slightly more brown in it. It's not as like cream it's got a little bit more brown in it than like an almond like a standard almond would be so that is Rowan and then I will finish out my neutrals this is my last one that I wore this month um this is Chanel and Chanel is definitely like a milk uh like a milk chocolate color um really pretty I love 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 browns as neutral nude shades in the fall and winter time just a really pretty one, great formula. I love Chanel, it's a really pretty one. So that is Chanel. All right, finishing up, we have got, uh, all right, so this polish I wore, uh, we went and saw Star Wars and I wanted to be a little, um, what's the word? I wanted to be, I can't think of the word I wanna use. I wanted to be fancy. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to be. I wanted to be like in the spirit of Star Wars. Um, so I busted this one out, and this is another uh, Zoya that I've never worn in my collection before. And this is Imogen. And Imogen is one of those extreme. I can't believe. I can't remember what they called them. I think they're they were like the magic pixie dust. So this is like the pixie dust on crack. So it's basically a black with a whole bunch of chunky uh, holographic micro glitter. And this is a pixie dust formula, so it does dry down textured. Um, reason I got this is because I have Zoya's, I have Zoya's Storm. And for me, the holographic in that is not as apparent as I would like it to be. Um, and I don't have the pixie dust, um, the, if you want something that's not as extreme in pixie dust form, I believe it's called Dahlia. Um, but since I didn't like Storm, I was worried that Dahlia was going to be the same, where it was just like not enough holographic in there and I wasn't going to like it. So I was looking for a black, um, you know, a black glittery thing. Um, cause it's just cause I don't wear a whole lot of black nails. It's usually like black with something in it. Um, so I bought Imogen because I was like, this is definitely going to have enough holographic in it. It's going to, you know, stand out. And it's really pretty. I just, I want to love this formula a little bit more. These extreme, like, magic pixie dusts. And I can't get into them. They're just too chunky for me. And I hate having to put more than, like, two or three top coat layers on them. So I did like this. It's definitely, you know, was glittery and you know, bright on the nail, but just the formula on these are really hard to get around for me. They're just super chunky and they catch and I hate doing a bunch of layers of top coat. So wasn't super thrilled with it, but I did love the, uh, I did love the color on that. So that is, and again, I wore it for Star Wars. So I thought it would fit the bill of like, you know, galaxy kind of, you know, sci-fi type stuff. So that is why I wore that. So that is Imogen. 
And then this is again, this is probably in my top three for this month also, and I've talked about this one several times. Um, this was released in Cirque Colors Winter Collection. This is called Huga. Um, I remembered how to say it this time because I've had to like annotate my last two videos that I've had this in there. Um, it's H-Y-G-G-E, and this is a gorgeous um, light powdery blue with a really pretty copper uh, flash of shimmer that's in here. Super apparent on the nail, so, so beautiful. This is such a dainty um, kind of like I don't know, like fairy, I don't know, it just reminds me of like fairies and Tinkerbell and it's just super, super pretty and very delicate. Um, but again, you can definitely see that shift that's in there. So that's what I love about it. Um, I have compared this to Pearl Jammin' from uh, China Glee. So uh, I would watch back, uh, what did I talk about that in? I talked about it in two videos. So we, I think, I don't remember, but I'll drop it in the down bar if you wanna see the, I don't, if I have the swatch, I'll throw it up here, but if not, I'll drop it in the down bar so you have a link to the video that I talked about that it, highly recommend this polish. It is so, so pretty. So if you do not have it and you like, if you like Pearl Jammin', if you were disappointed in Pearl Jammin', I think this is right up your alley. This is just a tad bit more blue than Pearl Jammin'. Pearl Jammin' is a little bit more like, of a lighter blue. It's still in the powder blue family and it's not a pastel blue, but it's a definitely, it's not as saturated of a blue as uh, Huga here. So that is super gorgeous. Um, and then this polish, I don't want to save this to last because this is probably my one disappointing polish for this month. Um, yeah, some of the other ones I was just kind of like, eh, they're okay. But this was the one I was so disappointed in. So um, I got the alert from Cirque a couple weeks ago letting me know that Coronation had come back into stock and so I jumped on it and grabbed it and I got it a couple weeks ago and I was so excited to put it on. It's this really gorgeous, if you haven't seen it, it's this really gorgeous um, kind of medium toned purple, like great purple, but it's got this gorgeous kind of, um, I don't know if it's that unicorn pea glitter that they, people have a hard time getting, but it's this really gorgeous kind of reddish copper um, flash that goes throughout it and I think it also has some really finely milled um, holographic glitter in there as well. In the bottle this looks so amazing and it's so so pretty. Trouble is is that the formula on this and I don't know if it's just because this got rushed out um, or what but I don't know if other people's turned out like this um, but this formula is terrible. Terrible. I just I can't I'm so shocked because I've loved every single polish from Cirque and so I'm wondering if this was just a fluke, if these got rushed out too fast, if something wasn't in stock and they just like made it up with something else. I don't know. Let me know if you have this and if the formula is just as bad for you because I was so disappointed and I want to try to make this work because I love this color but I'm just so disappointed in this formula. The formula is so thick but yet it's thin on the nail so it takes three, probably needed four coats to be opaque. The, it's goopy, it doesn't set level, it also smells a little funny to me, um, and it just, oh man, this formula is just terrible. I tried wearing it again because I thought I could make up, you know, I thought the color could make up for the formula, and it's still just terrible. I can't, I don't know if I can deal with it. I love this color, but I think there might be dupes out there that I've heard of. My memory card died, so I got cut off there, so I'm gonna try and splice this in. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know if anyone else's formulas are like this. I thought I could try and make this work. I believe there's um, some dupes out there, if I remember correctly, like ILNP or somebody that I might look into, because I was, I just, I don't know if I can get past this formula. This formula is terrible, and I would not recommend, especially for the price. The price I paid for this does not warrant this kind of formula. If I'm having to use three to four coats to get this, you know, opaque, this is going to be gone and like, you know, and usually I don't care about that because I have a bazillion polishes, but the fact that I had to spend that much money, that the formula is terrible and that I have to use three to four coats to even get it remotely opaque just kind of pisses me off a little bit. And I love Cirque and I'm hoping that this was just a fluke and, you know, I don't know, but oh, I was so disappointed in this because I mean, like, look at this how beautiful this color is like are you insane like it's so pretty and I just I'm so pissed that this formula sucks Ugh. so anyway that is coronation I didn't want to end on that so I got two more all right so this next polish is part of the color club halo hues collection that I picked up not too long ago from live love polish um, obviously this was the first one I wore because it's purple uh, this is called date with destiny and this is just a really pretty linear holographic with just a slight bit of purple to it really really pretty wonderful formula on these um, like I mentioned this these are the first color clubs that I've picked up so I am pleasantly uh, 
not surprised, but like I'm was pleasantly, um, you know, I don't know the word I can't, why is it I can't think of any words when I get on the camera? Um, I just was, I was pleasantly um, surprised with how nice this formula was. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to try out some more color clubs in the future. So that one is Date with Destiny. And then the very last one is a little mini. Um, I'm definitely not doing a project pan this year, but I do want to kind of use up some of these minis just because I've got a couple of them and I feel like they just sit in my collection because I never pull them very often. So not doing a project polish, but I do kind of want to like focus on maybe getting rid of some of these little minis here. Um, but this one, so I want to say, I don't think it was November, maybe it was October. I wore the OPI, uh, turned on the Northern Lights and it was, I was very disappointed in the formula on that. Um, so this guy I've had in my collection for a little while. I believe this came out like one or two falls ago from China Glaze and it's kind of along the same lines and I thought maybe like I could try that out and see because it's been a little while since I wore it so I thought maybe I would try it again and see, um, you know, if it fits the if it fits what I'm, what I was wanting OPI turn on the Northern Lights to be, um, and maybe get it in a bigger bottle. Um, so this one is called Sleeping Under the Stars, and my lighting is kind of going, so hopefully you can get some of this. But this is, um, it's a little bit, it's like a denim blue, and it, uh, let's see, come on. It's a denim blue, but then it also has um, some shimmer in there. And I believe it's that same kind of like pinky shimmer that you will see in the OPI um, turn on the Northern Lights. And I and that also that feel the chemistry, I think it's that same glitter. This isn't the same, it's kind of, it's definitely like a pinky glitter, but it's not as like, it's a little bit different than the turn on the Northern Lights, but it's the same kind of feel. Um, and this is pretty, I just, uh, again, it's one of those where like, I don't know if it's just the base maybe, maybe I'm just expecting too much from some of these polishes because I just feel like I expect to be able to see that shimmer on the nail and I just, I, I keep not getting what I want it. I, I think I'm just maybe expecting too much. These are dark polishes, maybe there's just not a way for that shimmer to show up as much as I would like it to be, I just need to maybe like lower my expectations. <laughs> um, but I definitely like this a lot more than the OPI. It's definitely not as dark, you can tell that it's blue, whereas the OPI I feel like it definitely looks black on the nail, which is not my cup of tea. Um, so I definitely like this more. I don't know if it's something that I will need, a, like I'm gonna buy a full bottle of at this moment. Um, I think I'm gonna hold off and kind of, you know, keep playing with it and see if it's something I want full bottle of. I did not get, so when OPI did their winter collection and they released that field of chemistry, I know everyone is saying that it's better than Turn On The Northern Lights, but I don't know. I feel like I've been burned by OPI a couple times, so I feel like me and them need to have like, and I don't have that many OPIs just for that reason. Like I always buy OPIs and I just, I'm always really disappointed in their stuff, so. I kind of want feel the chemistry, but I have a feeling I'm going to be disappointed in it, so I'm kind of holding off for a little bit longer. Um, maybe if I see it on discount somewhere, I may grab it, but I definitely don't want to pay full price just because I just, I don't know, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just worried I'm not going to like it the same way that I don't like the turn on the northern lights, but I don't know. If you guys have it and you really like it, let me know, and I might, I might snag it one of these days, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about this. So, um, I really like this. Not as much as I would like it to be, but you know, whatever. So that is the last polish. Thanks for hanging around guys. I know this was a long one. Like I said, I'm not gonna be doing these monthly manicures anymore. I'm gonna try and keep them all the weekly manicures as long as my filming schedule works out. Um, but I had a wonderful holiday. December was a good time, good time. So, you know, that's, that's what it is. Um, if I had to pick, so top three, I would say Huga, Mona, and probably Tilted would be my top three for, for December. So really, really pretty. Oh, the dog, you leaving? You done? Okay, she's done, so we're gonna be done. Hope you guys are having a great one. Let me know what you guys, have, what you guys, I know it's past December at this point, so silly to ask you, but um, have you guys tried any of these polishes? What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts, what you guys were wearing, you know, recently or in December. What were your Christmas manicures? Did you like them? I enjoyed mine. But anyway, I love, uh, I love talking to you guys. I hope to hear from you. Have a good one.